Hey, sis. Thank you for joining me on today for a devotional reading from my book. I'm so excited to be doing this again. You know, I had kind of slacked off on the two episodes a week, but I'm trying to ease my way back in, okay? So much was going on, and I just want to say thank you all for all of your support. In the past few weeks, after we had the Women's Empowerment Series, I was also trying to finish up some things. I was a part of some things, and so a lot of things happened within like the past month or so, but we're going to get back into it. So like I said, thank you so much. Again, the we reached our 100th episode, 20,000 downloads. You know, all of that was so exciting. And I had some things I was trying to prepare for that time. And so all of that happened. I finished up the ebook, The 100 Biblical Affirmations to Declare After a Breakup. If you have not gotten that, I'll leave a link in the show notes so you can go put your name and email address in so I can send you your copy to download. But yeah, that and I was a part of a few events. And so it was just a lot going on. So we're going to try to get back to these two episodes a week. So like I said, I'm easing in with a devotional on today. It's a really, really good one. Um, Before I get into all of that, I just also want to housekeep again. If you haven't subscribed, please go and subscribe to the podcast. Hit your subscribe button wherever you are listening. And if you have not left your five-star written review, please do that to help support the show. And in addition to that, I want to let you know that we are coming up on our one-year podversary. That's right. This podcast has been in existence for almost one year, y'all. Cannot believe it. It's coming up at the end of May. So I'm going to share a little bit more about some ideas that I'm having. And it's going to depend on y'all what we do. I would love, um, I'll say I'm going to share later, but maybe I'm going to share just a little bit now. And these are just ideas for now, but I would love to know your thoughts. I would like to have a night where we can spend just maybe like an hour or so, hour to an hour and a half on a Zoom call where we can just kind of kick it and chill and get to know one another. So if you are interested in that, please let me know. I would definitely love to get that together as just like a little podversary party, so to speak. I would love to chill with you guys and like I said, get to know you, have some talks, answer some questions and, you know, just have some girl time. So if that's something that you are interested in, send me a message at candaceabaddies.com forward slash contact. You can go there, shoot me an email, easy peasy. Let me know that you're interested. All right. I look forward to hearing from you. So like I said, I'm going to be reading a devotion from my book on today. I'm so excited about this one because it is one of my favorite, you guys. It's one of my favorites. Um, I It's about purpose. It's from the last section of the book. But, you know, I, when I wrote this book, I was like, oh, Lord, you're talking to me because let me tell you something. God's told me some things before, but it wasn't until like somebody confirmed that thing for me that I really, really like, oh, God, you really said that like that was really you. So if you want to know more about hearing God's voice and when he's speaking to you and how he confirms things, go ahead and listen to the episode that I did with Pastor Nikisha Epps in March as part of the Women's Empowerment Series, How to Hear the Voice of God. Listen to that episode. It's a really good one to pair with this devotional reading, okay? So without further ado, let's get into it. Today I will be reading Day 309 from my book, Goodbye Heartbreak, Hello Purpose, a 365-day devotional. The title, The Echo. The scripture reference, Joshua chapter 1, verse 18, New Living Translation. And it reads, Anyone who rebels against your orders and does not obey your words and everything you command will be put to death. So be strong and courageous. Yesterday, we talked about being made for the assignment God gives us. We know that Joshua may not have felt competent to come behind a great leader such as Moses. However, God reassured Joshua repeatedly that he was made for this assignment. However, after God personally reassured Joshua, he sent someone else to echo his sentiments. Today, we find Joshua giving instructions to the men of certain tribes about crossing over and helping the rest of the tribes fight and take possession of their land. The men agree to obey all that Joshua tells them. Then in today's scripture, it's like God speaks through them to reassure Joshua one more time. They basically pledge their allegiance to Joshua as their leader and vow to personally put to death anyone who doesn't obey Joshua. Then we hear the echo of the same words that got repeated to Joshua repeatedly in this chapter. 
So be strong and courageous. Isn't it funny that God can tell us stuff during our prayer time and we either don't believe it at all or we have a little doubt there? I think God has come to expect this from us. That's why he often sends someone to confirm the very thing that he told us. I bet when Joshua heard the men speak and one of them say that phrase, his eyes got wide and lit up. I bet Joshua was more ready than he had ever been to lead the Israelites in crossing the Jordan River. God does the same thing for us. God told me I was going to write this book in November. Then I attended a conference in December. You don't know how many times I heard the phrase, write the book, and felt God tugging on my heart. Then at this same conference, the first lady of our church prayed for me and told me I was going to deliver something great to the body. All I could think about at that moment was writing this book. Even during writing this book, God sends people to encourage me. I'll let someone read a devotional and they tell me how much they needed to hear that particular thing. I know it's God's echo saying, keep writing, keep going. Listen for God's echo. When someone tells you something that God has already told you, don't look at it as a coincidence. God is intentional. Take heed to God's word and get to work. Declare. God has spoken some things to me that I'm not sure about. I am listening for his echo. He knows exactly what I need. And I believe he will place someone in my path to reassure me on this journey. Sis, if you enjoyed today's reading, then you will definitely enjoy my book, Goodbye Heartbreak, Hello Purpose, a 365 day devotional. Just head over to my website, CandaceAbetEase.com forward slash shop and grab your copy of my book. Use the discount code podcast 10 at any time for a 10% discount. I hope you really enjoyed this. I love you, sis, and I'll talk to you again real soon. Bye.